Hi there. Uh, welcome to another little. Welcome to another little uh, tiny little tiny little tips from Julie at Patch Abilities. Uh, and uh, okay, so today's tip or this tip is going to be I am applying I'm applique stitching on wool. This is a this is a cute little uh, cute little fireside roasting marshmallows scene <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how I how I hand stitch corners so right here we got two corners coming up this is going to be very helpful I'm sure so first we're going to get down here into let's first get down here to our corner um, what I do is I stitch, okay, so right now my stitch, as you can see, is almost to that corner. So it's kind of hard, it's hard to blanket stitch around corners because your thread will want to pull and it'll skew your stitches. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to come in just diagonal up from the, from the corner of my little branch here, my stick, I'm going to come up diagonally just like probably an eighth of an inch is all it is. I'm going to run my needle through. I'm going to come out right at the corner like so. And before I complete my stitch, I'm going to do run my needle through the loop one more time. And I'm going to pull it, pull my thread so that I'm pulling it straight out from that corner. Now I've got this locking stitch. Now I could keep going, but as you can see, if I were to keep going, it's kind of going to it's going to kind of give that corner more of a curve. I don't want that. So, I've got my locking stitch in place. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go I'm going to go down with my needle right where right there, right on the corner, and then I'm going to come back up like one thread over. Now this is pretty minute, folks. But you can see I'm coming up. I'm going to bring my needle back up like one just a hair just a literally a hair a thread length off of where I just went down. So what it did was that locked my stitch right in place there at that corner. Now now I've come up and I'm going to start going along this short, teeny, tiny little edge here. It's pretty tiny. And I'll take a normal blanket stitch. I'm going to make this one a locking stitch. There it is. And here again, so here I am, my next stitch would be going, be coming down right at the corner. So I'm going to take my needle up, a little diagonal up from the corner take it down and then bring it right back up. See how I'm right in line with that corner? And then before I complete my stitch, I'm going to run my needle back through my loop. And I'm going to pull my thread straight out from that corner. Now I'm going to run my needle pretty much down, right down where I just came up, like that. And now I need to bring my needle back up on the top so that I can begin again. Okay, so I am just barely like one wool thread over from where I went down. Okay, so I got my corners made and now I can Continue stitching. Let's take one more and then we're going to just take a peek here. See how it looks. Okay, there we have it. We have two pretty nice corners. See how they're, they look pretty square. They look like corners. And uh, my hint for you would be don't get caught up in the, the anal details of these stitches. So that looks that looks pretty good. 
Yeah, there's a smidge of uh, background showing through there, but honestly, in the grand scheme of things, what does that look like? That looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. So that's your little tip on how to blanket stitch around corners. That's blanket stitching around corners. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Bye.